Good morning, my lady. Good morning, Sebastian. I've prepared your outfit for today. It's on the casual side, yet highly fashionable. Oh, thank you. If you'll excuse me. What beautiful weather. Just perfect for a special day like this. These rings will suit the occasion too. On my right hand, a perfect pearl. And on my left, a flawless diamond. Please welcome entry number one, a comedy duo from Twin Leaf Town. Give it up for Pearl and Diamond. Pearl and Diamond will now perform their skit entitled The Three Gyarados. At last, we've made it to Lake Verity. Could there be any truth to the rumors that three Gyarados are lurking here? Lurking, lurking. Aha, I see something moving in the grass. Excellent. Everyone's following the script closely. Now that's left is the scene where my chatot, Chatler, blows aside the grass and reveals Dai and Munchlax in their Magikarp costumes. And that's when I'll make my move. Those aren't three Gyarados, those are pre-Gyarados. Perfect comedic timing. Now that's your cue. Chatler, blow away the grass. Fury attack. Aww, fury attack. <laughs> huh? Oh, there you are. Taking a snack break? Guess I'll grab a bite too. This is no time for snacking. We're in the middle of a performance. <laughs> I'm not a very realistic Magikarp, am I? More like a Munchikarp. Intermission! What's the big idea, Dai? Uh, huh? What are you so steamed about, Pearl? Don't play dumb with me! Why didn't you follow the script? And how come you're still chowing down? Disgrace to comedy! Can't help it. Hungry. Right, Lax? Right, Lax. When we exited the stage to put on our Magikarp costumes... <laughs> the staff food cart was right there! Before I knew it, Lax was heading straight for it. I tried to catch him, but it's so dark backstage. It's not all bad. The audience was laughing. You've got a point there. They loved your ad-libbing. As if! They were laughing at us, not with us! Gah! Next time, stuff your face before we go on stage! You're the one who shook me awake and said we had to skip breakfast to rehearse. I can't believe you! After all the practicing we've done to prepare for this day, you blew our one chance to showcase our material to the comedy Grand Prix judges. And now, some other performers are getting a standing ovation. We don't have a chance. Hear that? They're laughing their heads off! Are you listening to me die? This is serious. Are you going back on that promise we made way back in nursery school? On that fateful day when we caught the acting bug. The day we saw Abbott, Clef, and Costello Jiggly perform the show that they had brought all the way from Johto to Sinnoh. And we'd vow we'd form a comedy troupe. And that's why we stuck together all this time. Spent all these years rehearsing. You aren't breaking your promise, are you? No way. Good. No more moping about today, then. We've got to think positive and focus on our next opportunity. Now let's start practicing for next month's comedy tournament. Right now? Okay, you act stupid, then I'll hit you. Huh? But first, put down that snack. What? Very chic, my lady. Thank you, Sebastian. Oh, goodness me. What's the matter? Nothing, my dear. Only it saddens me so that I won't be seeing you for quite some time. Please don't cry. A single step outside this mansion will put you in a world of danger. I can't let you go. You worry too much, Sebastian. Two escorts have already been arranged for me, right? I probably won't even need them. Of course you'll need them. I cannot allow anything untoward to happen to you. Your escorts are professional bodyguards. Their training is of the highest caliber. They are prepared to lay down their lives for you. They will be at your side without fail. All the way up to the peak of Mount Coronet. I'm to meet them outside the Jubilife condominiums, is that right? 
Indeed, you'll recognize them by the red and green scarves. Got it. Well, I'm off then. Do be ever so careful, my lady. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Phew. Finally free. Sebastian's concern is touching, but he worries too much. Don't you agree? Come on out now. Piplup! Speaking of Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon. You've got to raise them, catch them, and battle them. That's right. So what's your specialty? Raising, catching, or battling? Good question. I'd have to go with... Aqua Ring. That's an attack move, silly. Speaking of attacks, there are lots of them. There sure are. What's your favorite? Soft-boiled egg bomb. Eggs over easy, sunny side up. Sounds like you just like eggs. Fantastic. We've got a good rhythm going. One more run through and then... Pearl, can we take a break? My cheeks are killing me. Let's worry about next month's tournament next month. No way. The only way to avoid messing up like last time is to practice, practice, practice. Oh, there you are. You're Diamond and Pearl, right? I've been looking all over for you. Huh? Danny the producer. What's up? The judges just finished tallying up the scores. And they've chosen you two for the special merit prize. What? what? I guess your, uh, odd sense of humor left quite an impression on them. Can't for the life of me understand why. Come on, let's get to the awards ceremony before it's too late. Here, this travel coupon is part of the merit prize. Take it on stage with you. Hurry, everyone's waiting for you. Yes, sir! Hurry up, Di! Out of the way, Mojo! Pearl, watch where you're going! Oh, Ouch! That hurt! What were you thinking running around through a crowd like that? Yikes! We're so sorry, but we're in a big hurry! So sorry. So sorry. What a tough old geezer. Excuse us, please. Kids these days! Are you okay, Professor? After traveling all the way back to the Sinnoh region, I didn't expect so much commotion. It's a special occasion. Everyone's gathered here for the Jubilife TV Comedy Grand Prix. Well, I suppose these crowds will make it easier for your daughter to slip away unnoticed on her journey. You're awfully somber. Are you worried about your daughter embarking on such a perilous trip? This quest is a long-standing family tradition. Ah, yes. The Burlitz family have certainly distinguished themselves as citizens of the Sinnoh region over the last 200 years. You not only have a thriving family business, but count scholars among your relations. Those who are destined to inherit the Burlitz family fortune wear special emblems bearing the family crest. And that emblem is made of a material that must be personally gathered from the very peak of Mount Coronet. And now is her time to seek it. You and your daughter have helped me tremendously with my Pokemon research. And for that, I am deeply grateful. But don't you think this journey is perhaps a little premature? There's no age limit on when you complete the quest, is there? There isn't. However, she was adamant about going now. How could I hold my high-spirited daughter back? I talked it over with our butler, Sebastian. He suggested I assign two bodyguards to watch over her. Ah, yes. She mentioned that. Well, she was kind enough to promise to gather data on the Pokémon who cross her path. In fact, I asked her for two favors. I am determined to learn as much as possible about Sinnoh's Pokémon. In addition to a Pokedex to record any Pokemon sightings, I gave her a Pokemon whose evolution we'd like to monitor, as well as a Pokemon watch with special programs installed by the Poketech company. I had these three items sent as a set to your mansion. I even prepared a set for her two escorts. As efficient as ever, Professor. Speaking of which, the bodyguard should be arriving shortly. We're already here. Just keep walking. Don't draw attention. 
inside this envelope, you'll find the rendezvous point with my daughter, a map of her route, and other particulars of your mission. Understood. Take good care of her for me. Will do, sir. It's certainly reassuring to know they'll accompany her. Yes. Now, let's get to the research lab. It's time to present the special merit prize. The award goes to entry number one, Diamond and Pearl. We did it. I'll remember this moment as long as I live. The prize is a travel ticket, right? Open it up, Di. Open it up, okay, Di. Open okay. It up. Huh? A trip to Mount Coronet? That's really far away. This is even better than first place. That cash prize was only one million. We must have really entertained them. My goodness, those two look awfully smug. I wonder why. The prize is only a measly pair of free tickets for a bicycle tour around Sand Jam Park. This must be the spot. It seems my escorts haven't arrived yet. Now that you're my partner, Professor Rowan says the other two will be assigned to my bodyguards. Let's say hello, shall we? Turtwig! Turtwig! Chimchar! Chimchar! Two gentlemen will be arriving soon. You may pick whichever one you prefer. Kim. Huh? A green scarf. And a red scarf? That must be them! Pearl, there's something strange about this. Why would we have to depart on the same day as we got our prize? And what's all this stuff about missions? I thought this was a vacation. And how can we get 10 million poke just for having fun? Die, you're such a nincompoop. Nincompoop. Haven't you ever seen those reality TV shows with candid cameras? They probably want to catch the look of surprise on our faces when we find out what's really going on. There could be cameras on us as we speak. Wait, what? Where? Don't be so obvious. Now that we're at the designated place, something funny is bound to happen. Like right now. Oh! There. Ow, ow, give us a break. Come on, Di, give them a dramatic reaction. Uh-huh. Wow, she's pretty. So elegant, so refined. Like a real-life princess. Ouch! What the heck is going on here? Psst, Di, don't just stand there. A flock of Starly? Oh no, they're in attack formation. Hurry up and drive them away! Who is that girl? Is she our tour guide or something? It took them nearly half an hour to get rid of all of them. These bodyguards look the same age as me. Has there been a mix-up of some sort? Of course not. After all, Father and Professor Rowan made the arrangements. This must be a tactic to help camouflage us as friends on an outing. Tell me your names. Your code names, to be precise. Anything's fine. Just something to call you by. I'm Di. Sharp for diamond. And I'm Pearl. Very well, then. Huh? Hey, hold on. When you ask someone's name, you gotta tell them yours. Sebastian always admonished me not to reveal my name to commoners. C commoners Commoners? Commoners? Now, commoners? Now, let's be on our way. Up to the peak of Mount Coronet. She sure is late. Yeah.